myself or Lee. Get in touch using uh, the hashtag The Analysis Show on Twitter. We'll do our best to answer them. Uh, OK, right, big London derby. <coughs> Spurs against Chelsea. Yeah. Mourinho up against his former team. What do we think? Well, I mean, how well have Tottenham done to catch Chelsea? Well, they were 12 but, points behind, weren't they, when Mourinho yeah, took over? Go, go level on points with them. Yeah, I think you know they, they've definitely had the bounce of Mourinho, which we thought they would. He kind of reinvented himself again, back to his joyful, happy self, which <laughs> he had to do, really. He couldn't, he couldn't stay like he was when he was at United. He, there, was, there was definitely an, a change, and he's had a bit of time out of the game. And the players have responded to him. Um, and from Chelsea's point of view, the flip has happened with their form. Mm -hmm. So they, that's dropped off a little bit, um, which, again, probably would have thought would have happened with young players and a young team. Um, that enthusiasm kind of not wears off, but you start to get found out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Abraham perhaps scoring those goals early on. Now people are marking him a little bit differently because he's not just the young kid on the block. He's actually a goal scorer. So they're yeah. going, hang on a minute. So they, they've just kind of come off the pace a little bit. So that, that's why it's an intriguing game because uh, this one, you know, toss a coin, it could go either way. What, what have you noticed from Mourinho and what he's done since taking charge? Well, I think, you know, there's certain players, and, and Dyer's one of them who's got back into the team playing. Deli Alley's been reinvigorated. I think that his form has been a big plus for, mm -hmm. for Jose. Um, and obviously, when the, when the dressing room's broken a little bit, which it was, the project was kind of broken, and uh, Pochettino had kind of lost all of that he's come in and just don't have to do it I don't think he has to do a lot because they're good players just had to fill a few gaps here and put a bit mm. of cement here and there just to bring them back together again and then you know maybe chat to a few of them behind the scenes and say what about new contracts and all of that sort of stuff so that's what Mourinho does best yeah. you know, I think he's a great man manager in that respect yeah I mean, he's got a flying front four at the moment hasn't he Kane yeah. Ali Moore and Son mm -hmm. one of his one of the things he has done is, is do this Two, two defensive midfield players, yeah. if you like. Mm -hmm. So, you know, do a great job in terms of just, you know, we talked about Arsenal, yeah. having that shield in front of them. Yeah. They don't necessarily have that shield in front of them. He says, well, I want that shield. Yeah. But then he takes away from yeah. the creative side a little bit. So Harry Winks, Christian Oaks, and that type of player misses yeah. out because of, yeah. of what Mourinho would like. No, there's no, there's no doubt about that. And, it, and we kind of know that that's how he likes to play with that little bit of assurance. I think the, getting that balance is... The same what Arsenal have got to get and, and the same what um, uh, Tottenham have got to get is that they've, you know, for me in the middle of the park at the moment, they're kind of a little bit laboured. It's a bit slow, the build up. Yeah. It's not as snappy as it perhaps could be when Winks played. He moves the ball a lot quicker. And so, and again, from the back as well, the movement is, is kind of with those four up front. You need, you need to get the ball to them reasonably quickly. Yeah. And I think that is has not been a, is not not happened enough. No, I, I mean it was quite evident actually in the, in the Wolves game as well. I know they came out on top in the end, um, but it almost a bit negative at times with the passing. I mean, let's just highlight him. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight him. It's, this is Eric Dyer, mm -hmm. and he and he actually does have a little look over his shoulder as yeah. to see what's what's on around him. So this is a central midfield player going towards the ball. He knows there's nothing behind him. Yeah, and then he does that. Well, he's back he, to goal. He's even this guy here as well. He's even dropped. This guy here is even dropped off him a little bit yeah. more. So go on, you can have the ball. The turn, and then because because the turn doesn't happen, these these guys here are not getting the ball quick enough. Well, they're out of the game now because it's going back, and they've got to reinvent themselves coming back to the ball. One little turn there, and you've got a ball into yeah. into feet, and you've also if these come tight, you've got a ball over the top. So, but that's not his game. Mm. You know, he, we know that. Eric Dice could do with getting it into his game because I think he's an intelligent player, yeah. but he, he kind of, on the ball, is a little bit safe in that mm -hmm. respect. And that's why, you know, it takes time. The, the actual gaps that the, the created before have been closed down. First now. thought again. again. First yeah. thought again. Yeah. And I, if he turns here, and I'm just going to show you this position here. This is Deli Alley. Yeah. Desperate for the ball. Well, just look at his and if, arms. And if, if, Eric Dyer, if Eric Dyer opened up the right way, yeah. so what I'm saying is, when I say the right way, at the moment he's turning, he's turning back towards his own goal. Yeah, if he, he lets it, up. if he lets it run across him onto his left foot, and then he's got 
as you said, he's got this. He's got ball. the whole picture. He's got this ball in here. He's he, got a ball into here. He has the whole picture he, ahead of him. Absolutely. He has the whole picture ahead of him. But no, he turns backwards. And then what, he just look at Deli Alley. Yeah. Now that's gone. Now that pass. And then End the up end. half-hearted tackle. Yeah. And that position now is out the game. Yeah. Well, that's what the good midfield players do. They, they see a pass before it gets to him. And again, on, on this one, if he, if, if he knows he's going to get the ball in space, yeah. then if you just take, sorry, if you just take that back a little bit. When the ball's gone to um, Alderweireld on the side of the pitch, he kind of knows, he's, he, he should know what's ahead of him. Because yeah. he's in space. He's not marking anyone. He's got no responsibility. He should be looking and knowing what's on. He should know that the ball, if the ball gets not back to him, if it gets not back to him, he's then got either a first-time ball yeah. or he can switch. Well, and I, he can knock I mean, at times, listen, at times I could have been very negative in my passing at times. And the, the, things like this, you know, it's on. Hit that big yeah. diagonal at times. You know, don't be afraid of hitting that ball. No. You know, like the Stephen Gerrard pass, if you like yeah. that. Not Hollywood pass, but, you know, it switches the direction of play yeah. and it's on sometimes. But don't be afraid of playing it. But also, um, Matt, it... it it opens up, and we talked about we talk about it all the time. He starts to open up this bit yeah. of the pitch. Once you start to open up that bit of the pitch, and they've got two men in there now, the snap ball into there quicker yeah. because you're know he does alert it. of it. And I know he does it. He yeah. does find that pass, but it, by the time he does it, it's too slow. They're tight. Yeah, they're it could have been done. And we're talking split setting. We're talking a second or two seconds later yeah. it makes a difference to a defender. Shall I go? No, I'll stay. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the space is there. Same again. Can we look forward? doesn't even want to this time and he's under a bit of pressure this time now he's moved can we get it again now can we look so, forward yeah. didn't he i mean it's a tight horrible pass really isn't it and we could if we just just quickly try and see if we can just do what what when when you saw talk about turning round as the ball get as the ball gets played to him if he turns there well what what that does look, not not only opens this <laughs> o opens this up but it makes this lot makes this lot think about going this way. Yeah. And that's what you want to that, do. That's that all position. you want to do. That position, you want to again, he's, he's desperate for the ball. Absolutely. Doesn't come. Yeah. And then what happens is just, he stop coming. He is a favourite, though, of Mourinho, isn't he? Mourinho yeah. clearly likes him. There was talk that he wanted him at Man United. The, the chances are the more games he plays, the fitter he gets. Well, the chances are, I'm not, I'm not being cruel on him, the, the, the more he plays and plays with his blinkers on, that's better. He's just getting the ball. He's switching it out there. Yeah. The more he, he, he Marino watches him playing the ball backwards and sideways, the yeah. more he might think, you know what, we might need a little bit more progression going the other way. So, but we'll but that, see. We, we, we know with Marino, he likes to be quite defensive. He likes to get men behind the ball and then mm -hmm. let those front four yeah. do the business. Um, Chelsea have struggled against that type <coughs> of yeah. team, yeah. and against Bournemouth. Uh, last time out, it was quite similar. You can see how defensive Bournemouth are. Frank Lampard said, I hated this, yeah. absolutely hated this, this passing across the back. He said, oh, I keep the ball, great, but we're going nowhere. Yeah. And ended up with a long, a long ball mm -hmm. out of play. Well, when you play like this, yeah. and, you'll, and, and you'll, you'll see that it's, a, it's all about the passing. It's yeah. all about the passing. You see this ball now. Yeah. This makes a difference. He's passing the ball to here. Yeah. It's probably about on that angle. Yeah. Might even be more square. If he passes the ball here and forces the player to come onto yeah. it, that, give, that makes him have a decision to make. He goes, right, do I get what do I do? What do, do I do off? now? All of a sudden, the player's here. Mm -hmm. This guy can come wide again. It's, this guy can come wide. Yeah. This ball is then up. Is on here. Yeah. But just because... It just opens everything up, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Just because one pass is square to his feet. Look, he's waiting yeah, for so it. he has to wait for it. Wait for and it. And actually, this is, this is Mason Mount. Yeah, he's where come. At, you want him here. Absolutely. He could have stayed there, yeah. couldn't he, quite easily. And then it causes the midfielder an even bigger problem. You don't want Mason Mount there. Again, it comes back to him. Behind, Behind him. him. Behind him. Go back and get it. Too late. The press, the press doesn't have to do anything. Yeah. Again, behind him. Put the ball in front of him. Make him come onto it. Yeah. And it's little things. It's only, it's only the matter of five Same again. yards. I mean, it's, that's, slightly, that's slightly ahead of him now, isn't it? But I still, I, still want, I still want it to be more decisive. Yeah. So instead of, being, instead of being there, which he passes to him, yeah. just stick it in there. 
And this yeah. guy goes, right, I'll run away. Yeah. I'll come away this, from you. And he opens it, up the space. Because this is Mason Mount again. He's okay, now in exactly. the left-back position. Yeah. He's picking this ball up. He doesn't want it there. Now you want him further up the pitch, surely. Yeah. Eventually it gets cut out. I mean, it's good defending from Bournemouth. They're not getting sucked out. Be can he do it again? Passing. Snappier. Out your feet. Well, What's on? Can we play it? Turns it down. Yeah. Mason Mount saying, come on, give it to me. Could have gone here about yeah. five minutes ago, but they're getting a decent oh, position sure. now, and this is what he's brilliant at. He yeah. will drive into there all day long. Mm -hmm. that, you know, he loses the ball, but that's fine. That could have happened five, ten seconds earlier. Yeah. And I think, you know, when, when you're playing against a team that sits really deep, it's so important. The, the centre-backs start everything off. It's about the pace of the gonna, ball. I'm just going to stop this one as well, because when this comes... It's a big switch, that's fine. I think it eventually comes to Mason Mount, and he's in a great position here. Yeah, doesn't get it. He's in a, no, he does. He get, I think he gets it and doesn't turn. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Do you remember and he it? lays it back, and then he turn, gets it second time round. Punches it in soon. Can I get it? Wasn't the one we Wasn't saw. the one. <laughs> Wasn't the one I was thinking <laughs> this of. This is it. That's this is the one, one there. Yeah. Turn. That's the one. Get yourself turned. Now he turns. Why don't you do it? Yeah. And that's just, I mean, that can be a word in your ear, turn, little shout from somebody. Um... Or it can just be a bit of experience from his point of view. But I think Chelsea, when you're in a bit of a form now mm -hmm. that is a little bit off, you've got to not slow your game down, you've got to quicken your game up. And quicken your game up from the back makes a heck of a difference further up the pitch. Mm. You, you, when you're looking at a defence passing it and you're the holding midfield player, they're zipping it across. People are moving off you. It gives you more space to get the ball in. Yeah. If it's really laboured, I'm gonna I can mark you all day long like yeah. this. If there's nothing going on ahead of me. So that's Mourinho, will love, Mourinho will love this, won't he? He'll love yeah. this occasion up against his former team, his former player in Frank Lampard, who we know he thought incredibly highly of. He'll, he'll absolutely.